So my son and I get home, had a chiropractor appointment, something else, had to go to the grocery store, get home, and we see as we drive up to the garage that something has completely annihilated a bag of garbage. Like, it's everywhere, and I'm thinking, oh my god, we've had a bear here, we've had, you know, the bears are awake. No, no. So normally we give lunch to the pigs at, like... Well, noon. It's one thirty. Guess who came looking for their lunch? Mm hmm So all of a sudden, we look over towards the coop, and we notice that there's a chicken on the roof. <laughs> there's a chicken held um, in a snowbank, frozen, looks like in terror, not sure. And then I get out of the vehicle, and I see these flapping black ears approaching me on the other side of the snowbank and here come the three little pigs and they're not little by the way they're they're getting big so here they come and the first one is like much larger than the other two and he comes up to my son and just puts his head into his leg scratching whacks his head on the car just like a big dog just super happy to see us like hey guys what's been going on we're like holy crap like we're right on the main road so I grabbed this big bag of apples that I bought them it's like for the deer and they're following me down the hill pushing me down the hill because they're trying to rip through the bag like they're starving to death so we've decided that if you were gonna correlate pigs to a person or a group they would be frat boys. They're like frat boys going to a party. Like, dude, oh my God, dude, I just chased a bunch of chickens. It was so funny. They like flap around. That is what a pig is like. <laughs> Everybody's back where they belong. The chickens are coming back to the coop. The goats, the goats may need therapy. They're pretty shook up too. It looks like I'll be enlarging the run today and tomorrow because they need more space. Happy farming. <laughs>